Now, some may consider the grow weight lifespan is from when they buy it and first install it to when it completely explodes and dies. This may not always be the case because it will degrade over time, so the lifespan may be related to how much efficiency can you tolerate or how much loss of efficiency can you tolerate before you throw that bulb out. So that usable life, and I put that life in quotes there. Uh, some lights may continue to produce light, but overall plant production may suffer. Top growers will change out bulbs when productivity will suffer, which is well before they actually burn out or, quote, die. Um, so it's important to consider that lifespan is that light bulb is degrading over time. How much degradation are you willing to tolerate before you change it out? So a lot of times they state bulbs in the amount of hours that they can run. So it's important just to have a quick little conversions. That one year is 8,760 hours uh, if you're running 24 hours a day. Running at 18 hour days, you're looking at one calendar year will be 6,570 hours. And if you're running a flowering phase, which is 12 hour days, you're looking at 4,380 hours is what your bulb will accumulate over the course of a calendar year. Now the mounting position does impact the lifespan. Although Light bulb's operating position affects its lifespan. Bulbs will last longer when they're operated in a vertical up and down position. If the same 20,000 hour light bulb is operated in a horizontal or side to side position, it'll only last about 15,000 hours. Um, so while they will last longer in the vertical position, keep in mind you're not quite getting the efficiency out of them from the plant standpoint. Percent of light output determines its life. How much below new, which would be 100%, uh, are you or the manufacturer considering to be the life? 80% broken down, 75, 60. There really is no standards. So you have to develop what percentage you determine uh, that life to be. And this gives you the common bulb types and the rated life. High pressure sodium is about 5,000 hours, and that'll be about 95%. And this is going to depend on specifically the bulb manufacturer that you choose to go with. Metal halides last about 9,000 hours. T5 fluorescents last about 20,000 hours, and they'll still be about 85% efficient. Ceramic metal halides are about 20,000 hours also, uh, but they will be running at 80% efficiency at that 20,000 hour mark. Plasmas last about 40,000 hours, and LEDs are about 50,000 hours, but still maintaining 90%. So LEDs, it's kind of important there that look at high pressure sodium is only 50,000. Um, only 5,000 compared to 50,000, so 10 times as long for the LED for only a 5% more degradation. So high pressure sodium this is 5,000 hours, and that'll still be 95% efficient. LEDs 50,000 hours and still operating at 90% efficiency. So again, cost comes into play. The spectrum that they're producing, remember T5 for us, it's not good for um, flowering. It's a lack of penetration, but they can last a long time. So very important to keep an idea what the rated life is, depending on what light source that you use, because that may impact the cost over the long term.